You'll never find me, Wally. Not today, not ever. Kay's light-filled voice floated on the wind, tickling his ears. Walt took a right fork in the twisting deer trail through the live oaks. He might stand a chance if he kept her talking. I almost found you last time. Did not. I'm the queen of hide and seek, she chortled, sounding a little farther away this time. He grinned. That cheater. She wasn't supposed to change hiding spots. He quickened his pace. If you're the queen, does that make me king? More like the jester. This time she sounded a little farther to the left. You moved. No wonder you always win. No reply followed. He continued down the narrow winding path through the maritime forest of spindly pine and live oak. He froze as darkness fell around him, sudden and thick, like someone had plucked the sun from the sky. Kay? Where are you? Silence throbbed in his ears. Forget the game. Come out. Let's go home. He attempted to continue on the pitch black path, legs leaden. Wally. The sound of her strangled cry sucked the air from his lungs. He fought his way forward, limbs tearing at his face, but his legs refused to cooperate. He dropped to his knees and crawled. Please, let's just make it home. He wasn't sure if the words that spilled from him were meant to call out to his friend or to God. Walt sat up, bumping his head on the ceiling of his boat's shallow berth. He gripped his forehead and groaned. His skin was slick with sweat. He took a few moments to catch his breath, then heaved his aching body out of bed and went above deck, out into the night. The sailboat rocked softly, anchored in place on the Pamlico Sound. The cool breeze evaporated the moisture on his skin, causing him to shiver. He sat on the bench seat at the bow of the boat and looked up, arms wrapped around his middle, eyes feasting on the millions of pinpricks of light in the night sky. He then peered through the dark toward the barely visible silhouette of the old lighthouse. He wasn't sure why his 60-year marriage had put a moratorium on dreaming of his childhood friend. But the dreams were back now, relentlessly driving him back to his old stomping grounds now that his Martha was gone. Maybe his plan to set right the mistakes of his past wouldn't stop the haunting dreams or the ache in his chest. But he owed it to Kay to at least try.